Hey guys, we are back with some more New Jersey Devils franchise mode. And last time we went through free agency, and this time we're going to get the season started. However, there are a few, a few things I need to bring up first. First, I'll show you the lines. And uh, I did edit them a little bit from the last time. So I have Hall, Zaka, Henrique, Wood, Patrick, Palmieri, Lappin, Howla, Blandizi, and then Kujawinski, Coleman, Nason. And these lines were designed specifically to destroy our chemistry. Because chemistry has a lot to uh, to do with how much you win in this game, I notice. And uh, I think the reason Taylor Hall was producing so much last year, because remember, we want to we want to tank again so that we can get another solid year of drafting. Because we have uh, we have like a four year plan here in New Jersey. Year one and two is to tank to get as high of a draft pick as possible in the in the draft, and year one's already done. And year three and four is going to be the growth period for those young guys, and then year five and on is the time that we should be competitive. So. Yeah, this is uh, these lines are based specifically off of chemistry. So if you take a look here uh, at the high locker room chemistry, Hall's friends or supposedly friends with Merrill, Paul, Mary, and Harper. So I think that is the reason why Hall was producing so well last year because he was playing on a line with Paul, Mary, not Henrique. <laughs> so so even once we moved Henrique off that first line and put Zajac there. Uh, Hall was still producing because he was on a. I I just got that feeling that he was still producing because he was on a line with Paul Mary. So I'm hoping that putting him back with Henrique and then putting Zaka there will kind of destroy any chemistry they have. Because because again, we want uh to tank. The point of this year is to tank while still developing our young guns who are NHL ready, like Miles Wood, Nolan Patrick, and Pavel Zaka, and uh, Steven Santini as well. And then. Goaltenders, we have Rachavina and Wedgwood in there, and then I'll show you the AHL. Uh, we got Rudolph's Ballsters here. He's he's a minor scoring forward, so I don't want to play him in the NHL yet. Same thing with Blake Spears. Uh, plus, I don't really like I don't really like Ballsters' shooting category as a sniper. Uh, Spears is almost there. I wish his I wish his wrist shot accuracy would be a bit better. Uh, I th also think his puck control needs to improve a little bit, but after he improves those, I think we can call him up. Uh, Gurianov, he needs to improve a little bit with his uh, puck skills and offensive awareness. And then I also have Quenville and Bastion with Fleischman. I have Stenland with Setaguchi and Jeffrey. Then I have Olsen and Duke with David Jones. So uh, hopefully that does something. Defensively, I have Zaboral and Juleson together. Uh, they're going to need to get used to playing together because I have a feeling they're going to be our top four pair of the future. So uh, I'm hoping to build that chemistry while they're in the minors. And Lily Gren is playing on the second line with Mikola. And then Rafael Diaz and Cody Golubev are on the third pair as the veteran presence in the AHL. And then goaltender-wise, I do want to find a backup that is a lower overall than Blackwood because I want Blackwood to be playing... The majority of the ice time down there so we're gonna trade appleby we're gonna find a lower overall goaltender to put there in the backup spot of the ahl and uh that that is about it for the ahl and uh yeah hopefully with howla so the signing with howla i was banking on him being more of like a uh like a 84 i think that's why i signed him for 2.4 but here's the thing about Hala. It's Hala is a low risk, high reward signing because we only signed him for one year, 2.4, and he's an 81 overall. So I, I gambled on his overall and I, I lost that that gamble. But uh, I have him on the trading block and I have our uh, surplus set to nothing and our wants set to draft picks. So hopefully we'll get approached by a team to trade for Eric Hala for like a third round pick or something like that. And then we can ship him out of there. And then we can get, we can call up a veteran center from the minors like Rod Pelly or something like that. Someone like that. So that, uh, or really whoever who's done growing. So just so that we can tank a little bit harder <laughs> and that uh, we don't have to stunt the growth of guys like Blake Spears or Rudolph Balsers to just so that, you know, they can be on a winning team. And, uh, well, somewhat winning team. I, ho I hope the AHL is good this year. I really hope. 
that that is the case because we, you know, we didn't sign guys like Thomas Fleischmann, uh, Devin Sedaguchi, David Jones, and Dustin Jeffrey for nothing, and uh, Rafael Diaz and Golubev. So, uh, yeah, that is where we are with that. And hopefully Patrick can get some good growth alongside Wood and Paul Mary this year. And uh, the same thing with Zaka alongside Hall and Henrique. And I'm hoping Santini gets some good growth. And Helgeson is on the third pair because Santini has good chemistry with him. Again, these lines are based off chemistry and uh, and pretty much destroying it. <laughs> so, because uh, again, I think there's only like one or two instances in this entire lineup where players with good chemistry together are playing together. And I think it's on like the four on four or something. So it's not even like you're going to, they're going to be out there too often. Cause you know, how, uh, how often does four on four really happen? You know, it's, it's at the end, it's in overtime, whenever there's a penalty and then the guy comes out or if teams take two consecutive penalties within like a minute of each other, you know? So it's, <laughs> it's just not going to happen that often. So I'm not concerned about that. So we should be pretty bad this year. Should be. Because, <laughs> again, we want to we wanna tank one more time for that first overall pick or at least t attempt to get that first overall pick for Rasmus Dahlin or whatever other elite defensemen there are out there this year and uh, just hope for the best with the draft. So, uh, yeah, should be pretty straightforward. So I'm going to go ahead and sign a goaltender for the minors so that Blackwood can play a little bit more. And uh, I'll see you guys when I finish that. <laughs> All right, so I just went into free agency, got a goaltender, so now we got to sim a couple days just so he can join the team. And, yep, there you go. It's a 51 overall, so Blackwood should get all the playing time in the AHL this year, if not, you know, at least most of it, <laughs> the majority of the games there. So let's see, is he, uh, is he already in the AHL? I think he is. Yeah, he is. All right, good, good. So let's go to the lines. And to fix everything up here. And the only thing we need to touch is goaltenders. And I will scratch Appleby and put Klein in there. So now Blackwood should ha have all the playing time there. And we could trade Appleby for like a, a, a fourth round pick or something. So let's do that right now. And uh, yeah, because I think we're missing a fourth this year anyway. Oh, we got uh, we got to do the scouting as well. So we may as well do that first. Uh, yeah, we already know about Rasmus Dahlen, but we'll check the SHL just in case anyway, because, you know, those Swedish defensemen, they're pretty good. <laughs> so, and, you know, Swedish defensemen have already worked out for New Jersey in the past anyway. <laughs> so, uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's find a trade here for, uh, what's his name? Blackwood and, man, look at all these goaltenders. You know, we could probably use some of these goaltenders as as a trade bait for the draft in case we don't get first overall to uh, move up to that first overall pick. So, uh, yeah, let's get, uh, let's find a trade for Appleby. And uh, I prefer to trade him to a contender here. So, we'll actually, do I want to trade him? Yeah, I'll trade him to a, uh, well, yeah, contender because contender, those are, the most likely to give up their picks. So maybe we can get a third out of them. I don't think so. I don't think that'll go through. Let's just check anyway. Yeah, no. No, that's not going through. Maybe a fourth. A fourth and a fifth. That might go through. Let's see. Uh, all right, perfect, perfect. So, yep, we traded away Appleby for a fourth and a fifth. And that is all right with me. He only had AHL potential. So Blackwood could get all the starts down there now. And for some reason, our locker room chemistry is up to an 83 now. Uh, that's a bit concerning. Let's see who the uh, who the chemistry is between here. I, I would imagine, ooh, maybe Zaka and... Uh, no, it's not Zaka. What about... Uh, no. Henrique. No. Uh, Paul Mary. Wedgwood Coleman Hall. Howla. Ooh, apparently a bunch of people are friends with Howla. So maybe we should get him out of you. Yeah. Lappin. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Lappin and Patrick are really good friends with Howell. So maybe we should trade. Yeah, we'll trade Howell now. Just thought we could get that out of the way. And it uh, looks like Parisi's got a influence there as well for some reason. <laughs> Even though he's only a 70 overall. All right. Yeah, let's definitely trade Howell just so that, that, uh, just so that uh, top nine and bottom six line can be uh, pretty bad <laughs> so that you know we can just 
let the top six get the point scoring or whatever point scoring that they do get, you know. So we'll put Howla up there. Howla, 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 where are you? We'll sort by forwards. Uh, we'll sort by overall as well, just to make it a bit easier. There you are. All right. So maybe we trade Howla to, let's see, maybe Carolina. They want him, so. But I doubt they would want to give up their picks. Uh, they want to give up their fourth. Can I get a third out of these guys? No, I don't think I get a third for Howla. Yeah, I might just get uh, another fourth and a fifth. Uh, oh, yeah, 45 skaters. Okay, yeah, not not Carolina. Let's try to find a team that has under uh, 40. They'd be over the cap. Uh, let's see. Uh, they'd be over the cap. Jesus. They uh, Minnesota. I don't think they would want Howla back, but they'd be over the cap anyway. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Man, everyone's over the cap. Uh, maybe San Jose. Let's try it. Yeah, 45 skater. <laughs> uh, yeah, everyone who has under 45 skaters is over the cap. So it's a big peculiar there. Uh, let's see. Is there anyone? We may just have to take a skater back. Yeah, it's probably what we'll have to do. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> that's what we're going to have to do. So I'll put a fourth and a fifth, and then a, uh, a just uh, their lowest overall forward. So let's get uh, this guy in here, Carvinen. Hopefully, I don't think that'll go through. Let's get it. Let's get the fifth out of there. Let's see. Yeah, rejected. Jesus, <laughs> we can't even get a fourth for Howla. But you know what? I took a gamble and I lost on that. So I I'm not mad. I'm not mad because we still get a little bit of value out of him, uh, like a fifth, even if it's a fifth round pick. My God. Uh, let's try sixth. I don't even think this will go through. Yeah. Ooh. All right, so maybe maybe it wasn't worth it. Uh, let's try a seven. Man. <laughs> All right, I, I I guess we're just gonna have to scratch Aula. So yeah, that's what I mean about low risk, high reward. He he wasn't. It's not the kind of signing where you know we had to offer him multiple years and then he ends up hurting our team's chances at the first overall pick, which he will if we end up playing him. But uh, since we only signed him for one year, it's not like he's going to affect our, you know, it's not like he's going to, uh, you know, affect our team's salary cap for too long either. So we could just get him out of here for someone in the minor. So, again, low risk, high reward signing. No, And really, there was no reward, but it was low risk. So, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> I, I was expecting Howla to be like a uh, an 84 overall when I saw that how low he had dropped and that his role was a third line checker. So yeah, let's just, uh, I wasn't expecting we get it be an 81. So let's get him out of here and let's get, uh, let's see, let's see. Preferably low overall and not growing, not low. About this Cali guy. <laughs> uh, you know what? Sure. We'll, we'll call him up. We'll call him up. We're, we're tanking this year anyway. And uh, not best lines. I don't want to mess with the uh, bad chemistry that I have already <laughs> with the guys here. So uh, Lappin, I'm just checking. So I put shouldn't put Kujawinski there. Shouldn't put Coleman in there. I could put Nace in there maybe if he's not. Yeah, I could put Nace in there. I could put Lappin in. The, I could put uh, maybe Blendy. Yeah, Blendizi has a good face off. So I could put Nace in up here. And then I could put... Uh, this guy right there. There you go. And then should Coleman take the face? Yeah, I think Coleman should take face offs. Yeah, Coleman will take face offs on that line, and this guy can just be there. <laughs> so we're really looking bad now. And uh, but you know what? That's again, that's a good thing for this year. We're trying to tank for one more year just so that we can get another solid year of drafting. And man, we're already like over 15 minutes into this, so. Let's just get on with the simulation. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're pretty down there. So we shouldn't have a problem tanking this year. So 
uh, let's get the preseason underway. And uh, hopefully we can go 0-7 because that'd be a good sign of things to come. So let's simulate up to here and see see where this takes us here. New York, 4-1 loss. Good, good. Carolina, I mean, not that any of these games matter anyway, but again, it's it's a good it's good sign for uh, it's a good sign for the regular season usually for the preseason. All right, we're 0-4 to start out. That's good. That's good. That's good. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far, boys. Two and one win against the Rangers. That's a bit concerning, especially with how good they were last year. One and five for both of these teams in Philly and New Jersey. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we're within the cap. Uh, five to four win. All right, so we won against one of the worst teams and we won against one of the best teams. I don't know what to really make of that, but hopefully that doesn't translate to the regular season. Hopefully don't we don't get any wins <laughs> or too many anyway. I know we're going to get wins with the players that we have, like Hall, Henrik, Palmieri, but. Uh, not too many, hopefully. And uh, hopefully our AHL team can tear it up this year. So uh, let's just make sure that auto-rotate goalies are off. Because I don't want uh, I don't want Blackwood getting out of there too much. And I don't want Rajavina getting out of there unless I switch him out automatically. Alright, it's off. Good, good, good. Because again, tanking for one more year just so that we can get that good draft. I think that's what this team needs is one more solid year drafting and then we grow our prospects the two years after and then we become a contender year five and on. So I think that sounds like a pretty good plan. Let's get into the season without further uh, without further delay. So there you go. Four to two loss against Buffalo, uh, Vancouver. We have our bye week really early. It's the second week of the season here. We have our, we have our uh, designated bye week. So that's a bit interesting. Uh Starting out the season 0-2, so that's always nice. That's always nice. Uh, let's see. Hopefully the lottery is kind to us again this year. <laughs> there you go. 3-2 loss against Colorado. Uh, shootout loss against Minnesota. That's good. That's good. San Jose, a 5-1 loss. Yep, we're we're tanking this year, boys. We're tanking this year. 2-1 <laughs> uh, shootout win against Vancouver. Hopefully don't, we don't have too many of those. All right, we're going to a lot of shootouts. To start out the season. I mean, not that that's really new for the Devils or anything, but... Alright, there you go. Scouting assignment. We already checked out the SHL a little bit. We don't need to do it anymore since we already know generally who's there. Let's do Canada now. Defenseman six weeks. Remember, this year is all about defensemen for us. I think we already have we already have a solid forward prospect core. We just need to grow them a little bit. And we need to... Uh, I, I guess we can maybe draft a few more forwards, but no one like... You know, no one like first line talent. I mean, we do need a first line right winger, I think, for the future, but that's about it. And we can probably, we might be able to trade for that too with the amount of goaltenders that we have. So, uh, of, of decent value anyway. So, there you go. Loss against Arizona. Yeah, we're probably in the basement this year. I, I think we're in the basement for sure. 2 8 and 2. Yeah, we're definitely in the basement. We are definitely last this year there's no doubt about it i don't i don't think arizona or uh, long island will be able to catch us this year <laughs> only two regulations wins on the year so far or not even regulation just wins overall yeah there you go there you go this is more like it <laughs> this is more like what a tank is there you go five to nothing loss against dallas Corey schneider shutting the door i would imagine he's still there uh Two to one shootout win against Edmonton. So the wins that we're getting are shootouts. <laughs> so I think I honestly I think we've only had like one regulation win so far this e this uh, this season against uh, Winnipeg up there on the fourth, I believe. Yeah, so that looks to be about it. Oh, and the uh, that recent win against Montreal as well. But uh, I think that's about it so far, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, let's see. So one regulation win, shootout win, shootout win, regulation win, uh, let's see, shootout win, and yeah, yeah, yeah. So three out of our five wins so far have been in the shootout. <laughs> that's, uh, for us, that's that's good. That's really good. That's really good. So uh, let's check out the stats since it's December 1st, and uh, yeah, we're all the way down there. <laughs> yeah, we're all the way down there. So, uh, ooh, Nolan Patrick, 21 points to start out the season. That's amazing for him. Yeah, he should have some good growth in the offseason this year. Yeah, he should 
Nice growth, nice growth out of him. Uh, Miles Wood, 17 points. Paul Mary, 17 points. So even though we're terrible, we're still we're still scoring. So we're we're potent offensively. It's just that our, uh, competent, I guess, is what I meant. <laughs> it's just that our defense and goaltending is god awful. So uh, even uh, okay, so even Wedgwood in the games that he started. Oh man, Wedgwood. <laughs> He's uh, he actually has done pretty well so far this year, but. Rachavin is in there for the tank. And defenseman, let's see. Uh, Severson, five points. Merrill, four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the defensive core. I mean, Santini and Parisi, I mean, they're doing pretty solid for a pair that's only 70 and 81 overall. That's <laughs> that's pretty good, actually, for a team that's tanking as well. Uh, Zaka, 14 points. He's up there at 82. Hopefully, he, don't, he doesn't have uh, too much chemistry. No, he doesn't with his line mates anyway. Let's check on Patrick's chemistry, actually. Uh, Lappin, Kujawinski, and Severson, and Santini. Okay, so good. He's actually He actually doesn't have the chemistry with Wood and Paul Mary for, just for now. So that's actually a good thing, uh, again, for now, just so that we can get as many losses as we can. And yeah, Henrique is down there since he's not... Um, yeah, I guess Paul Mary and Hall don't have to be playing together to be effective. But Henrique is down there this year, so that's, for now, again, that's good. Uh, Lappin with eight points, Nason seven, all these guys down here. Cali has his first MHL point, I would imagine, at 10 mil per year. He was one of those uh, players who we had to sign for the cap. Because we're way, we're, without without him and another player who I've signed for 14 mil, we would still be way below the cap floor. So, uh, yeah, that's about it for stats. And uh, we don't even need to take a look at the league standings, but I'll look at it anyway, because I'm pretty sure I know where we are. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine we're in last. 14 points, yeah. Yeah, we're in last. We're dead last. That's good, that's good. So, uh, hopefully we can keep that up. Yeah, we're yeah, we're solid this year, boys. We're not even scoring goals. That's, that's good, that's good. So, our power play is still effective for some reason, but that's about all we have going for us. So, again... We're supposed to be tanking. I'm not complaining. So let's, just, you know what? Let's just keep going. I mean, this video is pretty long, 23 minutes. But you know what? We don't, there's nothing this year that we really need to worry about trade-wise or lines-wise as long as the chemistry stays down there. You know, it's at a 78%. So, because again, chemistry has a lot to do with how much you win in this game. So uh, in addition, obviously, to your talent. So let's go one more month. Let's see what happens. And, uh... Voice is getting dry. Gonna go for some water. <laughs> All right, there we go. There we go. That's a bit better. A five to three loss against Calgary, and then a four to three overtime win against Calgary. So yet another game where the New Jersey Devils cannot win in in, uh, in regulation. That's uh, <laughs> that's a fa uh, fantastic stat for a rebuilding team. There, only two regulation wins. <laughs> that's uh, that's something to brag about. Uh, at least, again, for being a rebuilding team. So, defenseman, OHL, six weeks. Yep, got to get all those areas scouted for defenseman. Uh, six nothing loss. Perfect, perfect. Keeping that uh, streak of only two regulation wins alive. <laughs> uh, Edmonton, 4 1 loss. Yeah, we're garbage. We're garbage this year. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. <laughs> uh, ooh. 5-1 to one regulation win against Anaheim. So, uh, what is going on, boys? Don't tell me you're gaining chemistry now. Please don't tell me you're gaining chemistry. Okay, good, good. Two solid regulation losses against the Caps and the Senators. That's good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, that was just uh, miraculous. Uh, two, mi two miraculous games there against Anaheim and San Jose in terms of winning. Uh, but, yeah, we're back on track. We're back on track. I'm liking what is going on here. Let's check the stats out. Hopefully Patrick has a decent amount of points and maybe he even progressed a little bit. So uh, let's take a look here. Take a quick look. I'm not going to take a look at this team stats because we already know what those are about. But uh, yeah, Patrick leading our team in points on the second line once again. He is on the first line power play, I think. But uh, once again, Patrick's offensive numbers are up there and he is an assist machine right now. He's got 19 assists. In 35 games, 10 goals. So, I mean, that's not bad for Patrick. For a rookie year, I mean, that's that's fantastic for a rookie year, actually. 
And uh, Zaka with with 20 points, he's getting better. So, again, as long as these rookies are growing and as long as we're tanking at the same time, that's all I care about. And that's exactly what's happening right now. So, we're good. (laughs) You know what? We can... uh, I think we could go one more month. I think we can go up to the trade deadline, actually. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's go to the trade deadline just so that we can get this year out of the way and uh, just uh, so that we'll still be open for suggestions at the trade deadline. But again, I don't think there's really too much that we have to change this year just because of our long-term goal, you know? And uh, there's a regulation win, so... What is that? Five on the season now? Five regulation wins. So hopefully we don't get too many more of those. I don't think we will. But uh, oh, and we should also we should also keep an eye on the AHL. I'll check out the AHL stats after uh, when we get to the trade deadline, just so that we can check on the growth of Spears, Gurianov, um, Balsers, Lilligren. Who else? Who else? Uh, Zaboral and Juleson and uh, Blackwood as well. So hopefully the, all those guys grow significantly this year and maybe uh, maybe even Bastion, Quenville, you know, uh, Stenland, all those guys. So hopefully we see some good growth out of them and a uh, couple winning. Uh, we got three wins back to back, three regulation wins nonetheless. So, uh, I mean, I, I guess maybe we're getting a bit better uh chemistry wise so hopefully that can get a bit back down there because again i want to be want to be last in the league this year when i have the best chance at first overall Uh, although then again i feel like i feel like the game really punishes you if you if it sees that you're trying to tank which was uh i don't think was my goal last year but okay to be fair we got so lucky last year with the draft it was insane uh i mean you guys all saw it so (laughs) <laughs> but in case you didn't see it, we got the first overall pick, even though we were 26th or 25th in the league, I think. And we also got Winnipeg's uh, pick to be a top three. And to be fair, I had no idea that Winnipeg was going to be that bad. They were third to last in the NHL. And and remember, uh, around the trade deadline time, I think, they were like 19th in the league. So they dropped from 19th all the way to 28th within a matter of like 20 games. <laughs> they must have went on a uh, some sort of crazy losing streak over there in Winnipeg at the end of the season. But you know what? It just benefited us because we got uh, we got Nolan Patrick out of that, and only f- for the price of Mike Camilleri and uh, Ben Lovejoy, so who are probably both on their way down now. So in terms of overall, and uh, yeah, so we're just uh, we're just really in it for the picks this year once again, and. Uh, yeah, hopefully we can continue this losing streak. And uh, not sure if you guys can hear that, but there is a storm currently outside. So hopefully my power doesn't go out because <laughs> the power cables are pretty weak around here. So, you know, what? I think we will stop it here as a result of that. <laughs> and uh, we'll also check out the stats really quick. Yeah, 40 points on the year. The, yeah, there's no way we're any higher than 30th in the league. <laughs> uh, Taylor Hall was 47 points. Uh, Patrick slowed down a little bit, 41. Uh, that's all right, though. He's only an 81 overall, so hopefully he can keep growing. Paul Mary, 40. Uh, Zaka, 37. Wood, 37 as well. Henrique, 30. Lappin, 21. And uh, all these no names down here. Yep. <laughs> Check out goaltenders. And uh, let's see. Let's make sure Rachavina is doing his job of tanking. Yes, indeed he is. And Wedgwood, though. Wedgwood is doing pretty solid. <laughs> uh, that's a bit concerning, especially since he's only a 78 overall. And uh, let's check the AHL real quick, see how Blackwood's doing. All right, so 32 wins on the season. So it looks like they're doing pretty good over there and uh, pretty well down there in the AHL. Save percentage of 9-10. I would like that to be a bit better, but uh, it is his first uh, full season as a starter. Yeah, yeah, his, full, his first full season as it started there in the AHL so hopefully those numbers can improve uh defenseman let's see so Lily Grin has the most most points down there and remember he was a 68 to start the season he's now a 71 that's some good growth out of him and uh Juleson is now a 74 same thing uh hopefully with Zaboral yeah Zaboral is now a 75 so hopefully those two can keep growing and you know what maybe they'll be on our team next year 
um, and in the growing process. And uh, Bossers, ooh, boys, <laughs> he may be ready to come up to the NHL. Actually, he may be ready. That passing is at a ninety. Ooh, puck control ninety one, offensive awareness ninety. Yeah, I think Bossers might be ready, boys. Spears, Spears is almost ready. Spears is almost ready too. He's got that uh, 81. He's still a minor league scoring forward, but I think you know what? Next year, uh, these guys are definitely ready. But you know what? I think at the same time, I want them down there to help out Gurianov. But that line of Gurianov, Spears, and Balzers, the fact that they're all snipers doesn't seem to be slowing them down. So I mean, that's good. Stenland, he's had some pretty good growth. 45 or 43 points. Uh, Jeffrey 39, Quenville 33. He's now at a 77 overall, so that's good. That's good. We're seeing some good growth this year, boys. We really are. Uh, Reed Dukes is 73, and uh, Bastion is a 69. That's good. He was a 67 to start the season. Olsen is, is a 70, so he hasn't seen too much compared to everyone else, but, you know, he's still getting up there. Uh, it's going to be a process here. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. This video has already gone pretty long, and as I said, it is currently... Uh, a wild storm out there, so uh, I don't want to risk losing this recording, so I'm going to end it off right here. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one when we finish off the year two regular season and get into the offseason.